This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Ryan wants to know in previous episodes, you mentioned how it was a big locker room. No, no. If another person smelled bad, the ring from not properly washing their trunks. Oh, I can't believe this is a question I'm about to ask. Has anyone ever accidentally farted in a match? <laughs> of course they have. That has to have happened. <laughs> I guess the question is, do you have any funny fart stories that happened in a match? I mean, there's no chance that a guy's been hanging out, living life all day, and then he's going to take a body slam and a little squeaker doesn't come out. Of course it happens. Well, I'm sure they've been squo- you know, squeezed out on purpose. Just walking around. I'm sure they weren't accidental. <laughs> but being the fact that that I, w- I was hoping to get the audience involved and have them making some noise, I couldn't hear a, a baby poot. <laughs> I don't maybe know. Maybe that's on maybe that's on me. I wasn't listening for it. Well, you hopefully uh you didn't smell it, but my, you know, here's what's funny to me. We've got one of the greatest minds in the history of professional wrestling. And you know what we want to ask? Hey, what type of cheese do you like on your burger? Anybody ever fart? <laughs> you know what? I'm getting dumbed down <laughs> weekly. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me. Oh, it does. Can't believe that this continues to be a thing. Sam Steele writes in, Arn, when you're in the UK, where would you go for burgers or would you settle for something else? We've never talked about burgers in the, in the UK. Do you have a preference over there? Surely not. I don't eat burgers over there. I'll tell you what I do like Nand- fish and chip, fish and chips. Oh, I thought you were going to go Nando's or Nando's or however you say that. That shit's awesome. Yeah. Nando's is good. Those are good for the bus. Yeah. I, w- I order those for the talent. Um, they love the Nando wraps. They're good, you know, cause you got to put some meat in there for these guys. You know, these guys want some meat and a lot of the sandwiches you get overseas must be for some tiny fellas because not nearly enough meat, too much bread, not enough meats, not a happy camper. Does that make? Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.